being able yeah to understand a petty beef that can be sorted out with a few words is 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 knowing the difference between doing that and something that where you must go and do the madness you have to understand that Cause a lot of people get killed or get get into stupidness or go and get laughed off for murders and so on because of something that was so petty forget the gang rivalries and all the those, those stuff sometimes are too too entrenched there's too there's so much going on but sometimes people get caught up in dumb stupid arguments that leads to them going to do something so dumb and then they regret it later and there's an art there's an art to say you know what oh, what was we doing man that was stupid man and you know what i'm not i'm not gonna chat to my man no more but that's it but too much people like sometimes the, the, your ego and pride gets to you like nah i must get onto my man i, I think i like i'll tell you guys two stories one of them i've, I've done it already before when i talked in a story of how i came to uh, run a casino i think in jail but I'll, I'll tell you one of the stories again two different incidents right one shout out my Belgian gainer uh one g from wood green me and him i still pop a call now i love that brother right but me and him we don't get to a pastor in jail and the thing is it's about knowing what is serious and what is not serious what can be spoken about and squash and just left alone to the point that now where i could go to lincoln right now he can go to lincoln right now and there'll be no issues with us it'll be hugs and loves but that the issue was i think it was um i spoke about it before i used to run a casino in jail right and we used to do the betting shop and so on i used to run a casino and one time i was losing i was losing so bad and everyone on the table was getting onto me like oh and it made it worse and I must have, I must have been rude to my man. I must have been rude to Gainer. He didn't like the way I said it, but I started being on a bad boy thing, and he got jumped on a bad boy thing. And then he went to the, he saw come back with an olive oil bottle ready to bottle me. And then I'm like, come. And my Belgian Dixon had to stop it. Like, no, what are you man doing? What are you man doing? But that could have gone left, right? And after that, I'm like, fuck my man. And he's like, fuck the same. But after that, like, he moved wing and that. But we used to see each other still on, on during the during the jail. But it got to the point that way we were calm and it was cool. And over time things subsided to the point now like i can still say that's my vision to the point now now like he could call me i could call him and we could have rapport whereas if we decided to do the madness that day who knows where that could have gone to or how that could have spiraled out right now like we're both on road because yeah i'm looking for my man I'm looking for my man you see it second one my vision matty he just he just come out of road the other day and like <laughs> Me and him was in Haitian before again. I was doing, running my shop, and I, I can't remember what me and him had an issue over. I think it was over a rap beef of all things. Yeah, I think we was doing bars, sp spitting, and was going at each other. I think like <laughs> some people were gassing up in jail and was cussing each other. And I think I might have taken it too far, and he was upset with that. And then it was gonna be an issue. Everyone had to stop it. And after that, I like, oh, fuck my man. He's like, fuck you too, whatever. And imagine we weren't talking, but two weeks before I come out of jail. Yeah, I meant to be released in, in January of 2015. So like maybe like a, a 10 days before I went to come out of jail, they come and spun our whole wing, our whole um block where we was in HMP Ford. And both me and Matty got bagged for phones again. So they put me and him in in, in in the block and then they shipped us out both to Elmley. So after that, like we've had to be friends again. And it's, it was cool. But imagine we had done the madness to each other because of that silly fight or because of that silly argument. And then things spiraled out of control. Because the maddest thing now was that I ended up going to 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 Penterville on a, on a, on a, on, a, on, a, on a visit to go and visit um the jail base to go and do a workshop. And then Matt was in the wing, and me and him like hugged and we, we showed each other love again. And I I didn't see him since Elmley, since Elmley. I know he came out of road for a bit, and I didn't see him since Elmley since that time. This was about what 2015. And like to to, to, to me, then seeing him this year, obviously he's back out on road now. But it could have been a thing that where. It was a madness. Now he's on road, I'm on road, and we're off to each other. When you could have just spoken about things and just like let things die down. Come to realize that what the fuck are we arguing over? Over a rap beef. The game and what are we rapping over? Over bloody um canteen and, and silly like it's some of the beefs us you can be spoken about. It can be talked down and like someone showed a bit of disrespect. Alright, cool. My bad for disrespecting you. It's not that no more. It's leave it at that. But sometimes people can't take the violation and it's too much for them. But that it being too much, you have to have self control. You have to have self-control. I put up a post on my Instagram not too long ago and it said um, a toxic trait, one of the toxic, when you're about to write a toxic message, like a long, long paragraph and then you, you control yourself by just taking it all off and just typing okay. 
Because sometimes we're so pissed off, we're so angry, we write some long message pissed off with someone. When you think about it, you know, let me just calm myself down. After you calm down, you think, oh, that's cool, man. What am I getting? Like, I have it with my missus. And then she will piss me off to the point that, like, oh, fuck, nah, man. But after that couple of hours, you calm down, like, you're cool. Giving, your time, giving yourself time and space to just, you know what, let me settle will do so much for you because a lot of times we do things out of anger we do something because something's happened just now like a brother will come to you yo then my invite let's go and ride out give that brother three or four days you probably calm down you probably will calm down so my whole point of this is that sometimes things can be spoken about and sometimes don't be so reactive because when you react too soon that could be the end of your life that could be the end of someone else's life and like it's mad sometimes you just know what uh, I'm pissed off. I'm angry. Yeah, let me just chill out. Let me take a deep breath. Let me take a chill. And don't be afraid to tell your bitch you no. Know. Don't be influenced by peer pressure. Like, oh, them man are saying we should ride out. I tell you, you know what, you man, I'm not even on it. You know, them man say, well, you're not on it. No, you do recruit that right, cool man. Sometimes don't be on it. Sometimes don't be on it. And learn to articulate. Learn to talk. Learn to speak. Communication is key. Communication is a there's a lack of communication, especially with our young people, where they don't talk, where beefs can easily be squashed and settled. You seen one like back in the day, the petty ones, a, a brother st- step on someone's train and go, "Yo, he's talking about training." And other people like, "Yo, so what?" Instead of him just being, "Oh, you know, my bad, you know, didn't mean it." Sometimes the other guy could super aggressive. What you now? You're my trainer, and sometimes you have to defend yourself, right? But there's an art to discussing and talking and communication that allows you to think, you know what? I don't even need to do that. You know, patient is key. Patience is key. So I'm trying to get you guys to understand that you don't need to react all the time, first and foremost. Yeah? And also there's beef that you guys have that started off over pettiness, that started off because someone looked at you wrong, someone screwed you. You might not have screwed you, you might just have a screw face. You know some people's faces are like that? You're like, what are you looking at? He's like, what? But he's screwing you, but he's not screwing you. That is his face. You're like, what are you screwing me for? No, I ain't screwing you. Like, now you're lying as well. You're like, I'm not screwing you. That's just his face. Sometimes people got screw face. That's just their natural face. Or they don't smile enough. They don't mean they got a beef with you. They don't mean they're onto you. Yeah? Just circle down, man. Be easy, be easy, be easy, man. It's not always hype, 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 hype. Because that hype, man, will get you pumped up and get you gassed up. And I know every single murderer in jail are regretting it. I know every single murderer in jail right now are freaking fucking hell. I see the I see the, the, the song SJ put up the other day. I posted on my page. And I, I, I'm actually going to post it after this thing as well. It's just like, if only someone could have pulled him and said, yo, like, come here, man. You got so much gun, you got so much talent, man. Like, come here, what are you doing, man? Especially these artists and musicians right now, yeah? Obviously, you have ops who always try to draw you out, yeah? You always have ops who go on the net and talk shit about you. Say, oh, he's a pussy, or oh, he's this, he's that, he's this, yeah? Learn self-control. Learn. Don't get me wrong, we all get, we all get pissed. There'll be people who troll me, there'll be people who chat shit. And like, I've had to learn something, you know what? Don't even go back and forth with people online, you know? Sometimes just block. Block, delete, block. Simple as that. But especially I'm saying about these artists, when you got you're in position, you put you, you got yourself in position, don't go and mess it all up, man. For someone talking, for someone chatting. Don't go and mess up your bag for the reputation because you think nah everyone cares about it. no one cares about what these people say about it, you know. Every issue lasts for like a week or so. And then people move on. People move on. We see incidents where we've seen certain rappers they've had gone to issue, they've got into a fight, they've been slapped, they've been robbed. After a while, nobody cares about it. Everyone moves on. As long as you keep making your music, keep doing what you're doing, no one's going to care about that. Take the L. Sometimes just take the L. All right, cool. You guys robbed me. All right, cool. I'm going to work harder, do my music. But when you're going to retaliate, you put yourself in danger of going to get a criminal record that will get you locked up or fuck up your whole shit. So when you're an artist or not an artist, when you're doing something good, you're, you're, you're up there in the world where you're, you're progressing, don't let them draw you out. You're going to let them draw you out and then just to bring them back. Because them men are looking up like that. Like, nah, them men are there, you know. Nah, I'm going to bring him back down. He has to come back down to where I am. Fuck that. The, the, the ops, we're letting the ops win. That's how it is. You know there's certain people who, they see the ops winning. And anything the ops does, they want to cuss. 
Like, fuck them, man. Oh, for you, fuck this, fuck that. And you need to just keep looking up. Don't look back down at them. You just keep looking. Come on, if you keep looking at your visions up there and focus up there, you can't see them, man. When you start looking down, you say, oh, them man are down there. They're just drawing you in. and They're, they're trying to pull you back in. They're trying to pull you back in. Nine's called, what was it? Um, crabs in a bucket. Or crabs in a barrel. In a barrel, people say it differently. Don't let people draw you out of your position, man. Trust me. But anyway, make sure you guys are watching the news, man. You guys are not watching my news. I've got a lovely lady called Victoria Pennant. She's giving you guys news every single day. Daily updates, daily news. Make sure you guys watch it and uh, obviously you really subscribe, but make sure you watch it, man. Support Erting, man. Trying to encourage more women to get onto the channel as well and create bare different shows and that as well. But make sure you guys are watching her news channel, man. She's put it on my page where she's giving you a daily update of what's going on within our communities. Anyway, tomorrow, Hackney Week FC, we've got a big match. We're in Ilford. We're playing against Frenford. Brothers, we ain't won a single game this year. Seven games in. Two with two draws, five losses. We have to do something, man. We, if you're a baller, what you call it? Comment down below. I'm gonna sit, bring you to a trial because if these players are not cutting it, we might have to change it. But I believe in my players. I believe they're gonna turn it around. So let's see. And on Sunday, Peckham Zidane. I'm playing against Arsenal fan TV. Due to score a hat trick or so. Watch out for the footage. Anyway, guys, it's Friday night. Make sure you're safe. Make sure on Monday when the weekend's done. You'll be there watching my video. I don't want to hear, oh, my man got killed. Oh, my man got arrested. My man's in jail. Be safe. Be easy out there. It's a cold day. You don't need to be outside. Chill at home. Corona's over there. Just chill at home and be with your family, man. Sometimes, you know what? Your mama said, oh, stay at home today. You have to stay at home. Oh, no, my man. I'm going out. I'm going out, man. Your mom said, stay at home. Stay at home. You said, no. Then you go there. You catch yourself a case and you'll be sitting there yourself and... Should have listened to my mum. Now there's no mum's cooking. Your mum will be saying, I'm cooking your favourite today. Oh, mum, now I'm not going to get takeaway. When you're in that jail, now you're thinking of your mum's food. Huh? And you get that dirty chicken. Anyway, people, stay safe.